Hey everyone, welcome back to the Knighthood. This is part three of a complete noob paints War of the Ring miniatures. It took a long time, but we're finally here. Here's some time-lapse footage of me painting the Gondor regular units on my Twitch stream. The VOD was six hours long. I would say each group of army units took anywhere from three to ten hours to paint. Because of how long it was taking me to paint them, I enlisted some help from my fiance. So in today's video, all of the companions and the minions you see have been painted by her. So I thought it'd be fun to have her join and share her thoughts on how she did. At the end of the video, we'll both share our individual tier lists. Without further ado, here is a complete new bet paints War of the Ring miniatures. in right out of the gate with Gandalf. Um, I really liked the brown dry brush effect that I did on his cloak. I think it turned out really nice. It was kind of just a last minute experiment and I was really proud of how it turned out. Um, did a cool uh, blue wash on the beard which uh, Ryan suggested which turned out nice because it kind of differentiates it from Sauron's beard and I wanted to make sure they looked different. My favorite thing about this piece was how detailed it was. You can especially tell in Sam's backpack. It has an elven cloak on top, um, just like all the rest of the fellowship. I wanted to make sure he was included. It's like a pretty shimmery green, which I liked. Then the rest of his pack has a color from each member of the fellowship, just so everyone's represented. And then their belts are gold to symbolize the ring of power. So overall, really happy with how this one turned out. One of my favorite members of the fellowship, but one of my least favorite minis that I painted. Um, it just kind of seems a little muddled to me, but that's okay. I'm pretty happy with how the hair color turned out. It's a little bit lighter than the rest of the elves, so I think he kind of stands out a little bit. Next time I think I would just try and make the details a little clearer. Another one of my favorite characters, but I'm much happier with how he turned out. Um, the chainmail and the armor really look cool, and I really like the little gold accent on the back that's holding his axe and the hammer. And then I did a gold and silver dry brush for the helmet to set him apart from the rest of the dwarves. Um, really happy with how he turned out. Makes me smile. Gimli's one of my favorites. This was the second mini I ever painted. I did a little of experimenting with gold dry brush on his shield to try and make it look like the card for the game. Not really happy with how it turned out, but I think the cloak looks really nice. His helmet stands out a lot. Um, Good for a first try, it, you can definitely see improvement later on, which is good. <laughs> this is one of the pieces where I really think you can see some improvement. It's just super clean. I love the little silver detail on his shield. I think it just makes it stand out a little bit, even on like a more simple piece like this one. Um, overall, super happy with how this turned out, and I think you can really tell that I'm getting better. I think I'm happy with how everything on this turned out except for the shield. You can see it was one of the earlier ones too just because how I did the dry brush on the shield. Just stands out in not a great way but I think the rest of him looks awesome. I really liked that maroon color that I kind of made up and he turned out nice. Um, this is another one that I wish turned out a little bit cleaner. It's kind of muddled like legless and I don't know if it's just because his facial features aren't as defined so it doesn't make it look as detailed as I would like it. But overall, I like that the helmet makes him functional as Strider and Aragorn, and then his blue on his clothes is also on Sam's pack, which kind of ties it all together nicely. This is the first mini I ever painted. Um, I don't think it's bad for a first try, but he isn't my favorite. Um, one of his eyes has a bigger blue dot than the other, and it always just bothers me when I look at it, but otherwise I like how the blue wash that I used helped his skin look really cool and kind of bring out the ribs and the spine details that he has. Overall, not bad for a first try. I like this one more than I thought I would. Uh, the brown brush doesn't look as great as it does on Gandalf in my opinion just because the cloak is like so stark white but overall not too bad his black wash on his beard I think turned out great really proud of that because it really sets it apart from the white of his cloak I thought it would clash a lot more than it does but it turned out way better than I thought I think you can really tell how much my silver dry brushing technique improved with the witch king the armor looks really great and his cloak, I did a like a light dusting of silver to kind of give it a little bit more sheen to it. And I really liked how that turned out. Overall, nice clean paint job. Just the other minions are a little bit more detailed. The big guy, the mouth of Sauron. 
Brian had originally suggested I do a purple wash on his cloak. I decided to do a purple, a really dark purple with some silver in it and dry brush it over the cloak and I really think it ended up turning out great. Even though this was a darker mini, I wanted to try and make it stand out a little bit so there's a gold dry brush on the horse and then the chain mail also stands out a lot too. Okay, so we've reached our tier list. Yours is on the top, mine's on the bottom. And let's just start with yours at the S tier. Uh, why is Sauron in the S tier? Uh, I think because of the black wash that I did on his beard, it really helped contrast it from the cloak. Just because there was so much white in that piece, I thought it was going to get lost, but it turned out really great. So I thought he deserved a spot up there. Absolutely. For a mainly white piece, I think the details uh, really needed to happen for it to, to work the way it does. Okay, we have the Mouth of Sauron next in your S tier. What's your favorite thing about the Mouth of Sauron? Kind of the same as Sauron. It was a piece that was all one color, so like a mainly black piece, but like that I found ways to kind of make each part stand out, like the gold on the horse and the purple on the cloak. So I thought he deserved to be up there too. Absolutely, yeah. The addition of those colors to mainly black piece, I think, was huge. Um, okay, and we have Gandalf. He's my all-time favorite. He has a special place in my heart. I don't know why, but I just love how he looks. I was really proud of how I randomly tried the brown dry brush, and it looked really great first try. Yeah, really pleased. Go Gandalf. I think we'd have a riot on our hands if Gandalf wasn't in S tier. Uh, okay, you also have Frodo and Sam in the S tier. What's your favorite thing about Frodo and Sam? Um, I like all of the little details I put into them. Um, like the special attention to the belts being gold to represent the ring and then all of the little colors from each member of the fellowship on them just because they're all in it together. So a little homage. Yeah, I didn't know that at first, that you have Aragorn's blue, Boromir's maroon, as well as the elephant cloak um, all on Sam's back. And finally in your rest here, there's Gimli. What's your favorite thing about Gimli? Um, he was a really clean piece, like probably one of the cleanest. He has lots of fun dry brushing techniques, a little gold accent, just lots of little hidden gems with Gimli that I enjoy. I will, I will say, you have not mentioned Gimli's beard at all over the course of this video, and I want to shout out the beard. Oh, it speaks for itself in my opinion. Yeah, no, fair enough, fair <laughs> enough. Okay, moving down to A tier, we have the Witch King. Why is the Witch King not in S tier? I think it was just simpler than the other ones, so I just thought the other ones edged him out a little bit more. Still proud of how he looks. I think he looks really good for being an all-black piece. Just not to the caliber as the others. Okay, interesting. I think the the things you don't like about the Witch King are just like based on the model because the paint job I think is spectacular. So. Uh, yeah, he looks cooler. Movies, maybe. Sure, sure. Sorry. Okay, we also have Pippin in your A tier. Why is Pippin not in the S tier? I think, again, just he was simpler to paint. I, I think I'm just grading it by how hard it was, maybe. But I like how clean he is. He's got fun little details, too, like his little silver on his shield. Happy with how he turned out. I think Ace is still a good grade. Sure. Oh, yeah. I'm, it's, I'm just curious to know what <laughs> kept him from the top. Um, Strider, I feel like we know you mentioned that it's not one of your cleanest pieces. Mm -hmm. Is that the reason it's in A tier as well? Yeah, like I think if you look at like Gandalf's face, Sauron's face, like the little eyebrows, all that stuff, he just doesn't have it. So I just think it doesn't look as good as some of the other ones. Sure. And Boromir, uh, let me guess, was it the shield? It was the shield. That kept 100 Boromir 100% the Esther. shield. It just stands out in not a great way. You're, my eyes always drawn to it, but not in a way that I'm like, that looks awesome. Well, that's unfortunate. I, th I think it looks cool. Um, I can I can see your point about wanting to do it differently, but I don't think it draws. I think your eyes drawn to it more because you were the artist in this case. Probably. Tis the way. That's probably a fair statement. And then Legolas again, another. Yeah, like the exact same thing as Strider Aragorn. Not as detailed, but I do really like that his hair is like almost matching the elves, but a little bit brighter. I thought that was a nice touch. I agree. And two pieces in your B tier. We have Gollum and Merry. Uh, Gollum 
Is it the eyes? It's 100% the eyes. I can't unsee it. The right eye has more blue paint than the left eye, but then every time I would try and fix it, it would be one or the other, so I... That was as good as it got. But his skin turned out cool, like all the bone details, awesome. That eye cannot be unseen. <laughs> <laughs> and um, Mary in the B tier, again, more shield issues. The shield is the eye of Mary. <laughs> the shield is the eye of Mary, well put. Okay, so then moving down to your tier list. Um, all of mine are actually in S tier. I just ran out of room. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and before we end the video, here's a crack of Doom 3D print that I was given that I went ahead and painted. I was also given the Warriors of Middle-Earth and Lords of Middle-Earth expansion since I started this painting journey, which adds 56 new miniatures I will need to paint, as well as over 50 landmarks included here or thank Baradur and the Black Gate. Rest assured, I will end up painting all of the new figures and making videos to share with everyone, but it might be a while. So don't forget to subscribe to stay tuned. And in the meantime, thank you so much for watching. You can call me a new bet.